Mary Meet, I'm Luna, welcome to my channel and today I'll show you how I craft my magical spice prosperity honey. First of all, honey is a great medium for abundance workings. It's associated with the sun, it's energizing, and it was considered a divine substance and offered to the gods in earlier times. So it was a very expensive product and only a wealthy person could afford it. Also, honey is sticky, so you can use that quality magically to attract and retain wealth, make it stick to you. As for spices, they once were more costly than gold because they were imported at great expense from distant lands. So I'm going to be using cinnamon bark for success, luck and speedy manifestation, cloves to draw money and vanilla bean to imbue everything with sweet happy vibe and just because I like the flavor. I'm actually going to cut this bean open so that it infuses better. And I've decided to add dried orange peel as well because Oranges contribute to that solar, abundant energy and I absolutely love that zesty, uplifting fragrance and the flavor of orange. If you don't like any of the ingredients, feel free to substitute it and use your own correspondences. But if you want your honey to keep for a long time, I recommend using dried herbs only. Now, honey by itself can keep for years um, because most bacteria and microorganisms can't grow in it due to its antimicrobial properties, the pH level and low water content. But if you add a fresh juicy slice of lemon in it, for example, then you're messing up the natural pH balance and water level. So your honey might not keep very well. So because it's a prosperity honey, it's good to craft it on a waxing moon to attract things into your life and or on a Sunday or Thursday, as these days of the week are ruled by the Sun and Jupiter, respectively. So they'll contribute to that benefic, generous, expansive energy. But if you really need to do it now and you don't want to wait, just go for it, because the energy that you personally put into it is the most important thing. So first you'll need to warm up your honey a bit so it's better able to awaken the flavor of the spices and soak it in. But don't heat honey directly over a stove. Boiling honey deteriorates the quality and kills essential enzymes and nutrients. You don't want your honey to be hotter than about 30-35 degrees Celsius, which is about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, according to Ayurveda, honey becomes somewhat toxic when heated too much. Now, I'm not sure if there's enough scientific proof for that, but I would avoid it just in case. So instead, put the glass jar of honey into hot water and leave it to warm up for a wee while. And if it's already hot and sunny where you are, you may want to skip this step because you can just leave your honey jar to infuse in the sun. So while my honey is warming up, I cleanse and consecrate the jar I'm going to keep it in. As an animist, I believe that everything has its own consciousness, to various degrees, so I like to talk to any tools or ingredients I use for magic. So I actually ask the jar to be a vessel for my spell and to hold the energies I'm going to be putting into it. Then I add the ingredients one by one, spending a bit of time with each item, charging it with my energy and intention. In case you're new to spell work, it's important to focus on the particular property you need from each item. Because things can have many different associations, like cinnamon can be used not only for wealth, but also for love, passion, protection. So you need to tell each ingredient exactly what aspect of their energy you want to utilize. Also, because it's a prosperity working, it helps if you create that warm feeling of abundance within yourself and try to imbue each ingredient with it. Visualize it sparkling or glowing with golden light. You can also visualize yourself already having what you want. And you can say positive affirmations and words of gratitude for what you already have. Um, whatever helps you create that warm, abundant feeling inside yourself. So just try a few different things and figure out which ones work best for you. It's such a fun and creative process. I love it. So if you want to keep it simple, you're pretty much done, but I like to layer it up and add extra energies corresponding to my intention. Here I'm adding the sun charm, the fehu rune that I made out of polymer clay, and the number 8 charm, which is also the infinity and abundance symbol. 
You can draw different symbols and sigils on the jar or on a piece of paper to put under the jar. Here I've got the Prosperity Sigil. You could also include tarot cards like the Sun for luck and success, the Empress for abundance and fruitfulness, and the Queen or King of Pentacles for wealth and financial stability. Then I add actual gold, real gold flakes, and some prosperity crystals like citrine, pyrite, green aventurine, jade, peridot, carnelian, and so on. Just make sure you cleanse all those extra items before you add them into the working. I also set the jar on a wooden base carved as the flower of life, which is a sacred geometry figure that has a wonderful harmonizing effect, and it kind of connects everything together all the little bits and pieces that I've included into the working. Finally, I add a gold candle on top of the jar to add a bit more power. I know a lot of people use green candles for prosperity, but for me it's gold, so you do you. And if you're setting the candle on a cork lid, make sure you remove it before it burns down because it'll set your cork on fire. Then I spend a bit of time kind of binding it all together and doing some final activation and visualization. When I feel it's ready, I put the jar out on the balcony or a sunny windowsill and let it infuse for a few weeks or from the new moon to the full moon. Stir the spices every couple of days and add more energy or at least be mindful of your intention as you stir. Now, I just want to say, I know I've used a lot of stuff, like crystals, charms, runes, and whatnot, but all that is extra. I use it just because I already have it, and it does help, but I've built up my witchy toolbox over years. So if you're just starting out and all you have is some honey and a cinnamon stick, that's enough. That's enough for a successful working, provided that you do the energy work behind it. That's the essential part, not the extra stuff. So when your honey is ready, you can strain out the spices, but because it's a magical honey, I like to keep them in. So just add a spoon to your daily tea or eat it however you like. That's the beauty of kitchen witchcraft. It's so simple. Just be mindful of your intention as you consume it. So if you have any questions or would like to share your honey recipe, drop it down in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more magical content like this. Also, don't forget to hit that bell button that notifies you when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching and blessed be.